How's it going, everybody? This is Bear Bear's Baseball. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with my January through the mail autograph recap. Send letters out to athletes. Or in my case, it's mostly baseball players or baseball related people, but sending out and asking for an autograph, sending a nice letter. And yeah, these are my returns from January. It's about, I think, 18 or 19. So it should be a fairly decent recap video. First one is Al Worthington. Elite pitcher. He had a really good run for the Twins at the end of his career. And yeah, good fireman. It says on the back of the card, he was a guy that I believe voluntarily, voluntarily retired because his team had been stealing signs somehow. Nothing too crazy, but really honest guy. Trying to get that in the top so we have room to get all the cards in the video. Second return is. Phil Coyne, Alan Ginter card. He is 102 and doing well. He's an usher for the Pirates for, I think, something like 80 years. Started in the late 30s or something. Kind of crazy. Like, he saw everybody play. I think, like, Pi Trainer and, like, the Warner Brothers were his favorite players growing up. I'm not sure if it's Wayne or Warner, but, yeah. <laughs> so turned 102 earlier this year. Bird Camp Benares. This is last year Tops card. I mean, that's my kind of thing. And yeah, with the Yankees, a lot of people forgot about his brief stint. Did not play in 82, but really solid card. Still a lot of bases, and I believe he played all nine positions in a game for the Athletics. A little like promotional thing during the late 60s. Rally Fingers. This was $10 per. I believe his fees changed to 15 at this point. 86, Tops Tiffany. And yeah, because lifetime stats are as close as you can with any Tops card. <laughs> yeah, really great career, one of Cy Young. Yeah, top relief pitcher of all time. I believe he has some like repackaged product like he had back in the day. But I don't think that one was too great. Willie Wilson, this was another five. This was a $5 donation. His last year Tops card. The Cubs. A lot of uh, league, league, league leaders. Very fast guy. I believe he actually learned to pinch hit in the minor leagues and he was a catcher in high school. I believe that may be correct, but the very fast guy on the bases. Yeah, 13th all time at his retirement, which is pretty exceptional. Here we have a Joe Carter. I believe this is a 99 Flair Traditional. I believe so, and yeah, this has this is his last card as well. Five dollar donation. I mean, probably not the best card to get signed, just because his jersey's so dark. But I mean, everybody remembers him. The Blue Jays had some good seasons, a lot of power, and a very solid player. Definitely a good signer. This one's from Ray Herbert, the relief pitcher. Had some solid seasons. Not a really pitcher, starting pitcher, pitcher for a while. Some good seasons in Chicago. Yeah, solid career all around. This one was like lost in the mail for like a month or so. It was postmarked in like late December. Took forever to get around. Here's Larry Bow. He's the first guy I sent multiple cards to and got signed. 81 tops. 85 Fleur, which I like a lot. And then 85 tops. So those are all of Mr. Boa. Really good signer. That's very cool there. So let's move them up and stack them up. Next we have the Bonson burner. Stan Bonson. He is one for in five dollars for the next ones, but he actually sent me another. Yeah, you want Fleer. Eighty-two tops is what I sent because it's his last card. It's got a really nice signature and this nice thin pen. Still not too great on the terminology for the types of pens, but. Yeah, he was kind enough to throw in another card, so that's really cool. I believe he does tours with retired MLB players and, like, I think it's, like, cruises or something. I think that's the right term. But, yeah, he does fun with that. Bill Allman, 1985 tops, 1996 tops, 87 tops, and 88 tops with the Mets, who are my favorite team. And this is the last card. Number one overall pick. And, yeah, you know, solid... Tilly man that kind of bounced around for a while. Yeah, I mean, if you play as long as he did in the bigs, that's 
definitely something to be proud of. All right, and this is Jim Gentile. I believe he was a rookie of the year. Uh, he didn't actually win rookie of the year. I think he was second or third to Ron Hansen. And then Chuck Estrada was another pitcher on the 1960 Orioles. I think all of them were top three in the rookie of the year, which is kind of crazy. Usually you don't see that with teammates, but a lot of home run power. And this was actually the first two team I sent out and it took about, I think, 80 or 90 days. But, yeah, reliable signer. So, very cool. Now we have Willie Mays Aikens. He does sign in black pen for those of you who are not a big fan of black pen. Or black sharpie. I saw somebody complaining in SCN. But he's actually not a donation. He, he does sign for free. I, I believe you can request a different color pen if you go through past pros with him. Those are two cards for him, and this 85 Fleer is definitely my favorite. It has his lifetime stats, including his minor league stats on the back. So yeah, I thought that was a really cool card to get signed. And now we have some Bruce Benedicts, 83 tops, 87 tops, 88 tops, and a 90 tops. Got his lifetime statistics on here. I believe he threw out three runners in an inning. I believe that's his main claim to fame. The starter in the beginning of his career kind of platooned towards the end, but a very solid player overall. And there he is. Let's see if we can squeeze him in. Coming up towards the end here, I have a couple guys left. Art Howe. He was an undraft, I believe he was undrafted and attended like an open tryout. He's a computer programmer or something. And this card says something about that. He attended a tryout camp in 1971. Spent a lot of time as a manager. Astros and he was the A's manager in Moneyball. So you guys might remember him for that. I think he had COVID and had a brief stint in the hospital, but he recovered and is doing quite well. See, so yeah, I like this 85 Tops card a lot. I guess we're going to double up. Sorry for covering these athletes up. We have a Rookie of the Year here in John Castino. 83 Tops. 84 Tops and 85 Tops is last year card. And yeah, really cool. I guess some kind of work on the 85 set. No, it's not anything I'll ever get done. I don't think I will ever get Gary Pettis' brother to sign a card, or his card, because Gary won't sign it himself. But that's my two cents. Ben Ogilvy, 1987 Tiffany. This is another one of my early requests that came back. And very excited about that. I'm a really solid player. I didn't really get a chance until his time with the Brewers, but very good player, very well-read guy. And here is our last return for the video. Ron Hodges, a career immense catcher. 82 tops. Have this 85 tops. His last year card. I guess he's a big dancer <laughs> according to that card. We have an 83 tops. And an 84 tops. So yeah, very solid video. Thank you to all the athletes or baseball people, such as Bill Coin, who signed my cards. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions for me, let me know. As far as I know, all these guys still sign. Just an update on fingers. He's now $15 per card. I don't believe he's sending anybody back who's paid 10 yet, but just a heads up, maybe if you want to be extra sure about getting your Rally Fingers card back. Yeah, I think my favorite would probably be the San Bonson. Just really cool how I threw in this extra card. And I feel like that thin pen or Sharpie, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure about the correct terminology, but yeah, I really like that card. I hope everybody is doing well and is having a happy Easter if you celebrate. I believe this video will be going up on Sunday. So yeah, if you have any questions for me, let me know down below. But Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.